All right, welcome to the speed recap of the campaign as of thus far. We started out this campaign trying to build up our resource. Consider that Russia has practically none when you start the campaign. We scurried over, made Crimea our protectorate, were declared honest by Sweden, Georgia, and Dagestan, traded our land to our enemies, squeezed money out of their brain-dead banks, used that to raise armies, and then take back our lands, given up, also take Ingria and Estonia from Sweden. We took Serbia, moved into Transylvania, defeated the Austrians, well, all except a few ragtag units, that ridiculously went over and took Moldavia from us, which next turn we took right back. Forced Dagestan to bend the knee, then Georgia also took the knee, becoming our third protectorate, took Don Viasco and Finland while losing the Balkans. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome back to Fairmere's Rangers. This is David, your host. Let's get back into it. All right, this is editing David here, and apparently something happened to the audio on this portion of the uh, recording, so I'm going to be filling in. I hope you appreciate that. Yes, you're, you're so welcome. Now, I'm also going to say that I have decided to edit down some of these battles uh, from this point on in the campaign... Uh, to some degree anyways, at least the ones that are more repetitious than others or, uh, battles that we fought in the same area, you know, more than once, you know, such as like this here in, uh, uh Moldavia, uh, it just, it doesn't really make sense to keep fighting the same battles over and over again on the channel. You know, I know some of them, you know, some of them are going to have some interest to them, so I am going to show those pretty much entirety. Uh, this one is kind of an interesting battle just because of the, uh, the terrain, uh, you know, and, you know, also we're going up against the um, organ guns and such. So I, I did want to include this battle as much as possible, and you're going to see here what I did is I, I maneuvered up to the slope of the hill, so we took the high ground, and what I'm doing is I'm luring over... Uh, one of their flanking units. Uh, I gave them some little bait, and I'm just going to continue to uh, do that kind of scenario, and I'm going to cav charge them downhill, and that should provide some real devastating uh, blow to that Janissary, cement Janissary right there. And you can see here I'm going to charge a frontal charge right after I hit him in the back from downhill. And then I'm going to continue the charges until we break this uh, unit, which we're starting to break down a little bit. And we're just taking on that. And you can see I've, I've got my artillery over there on the other flank where we started out. You can see the shot coming in. And I'm, I'm shooting the Ottomans on their flank uh, just downhill. You can see the shot coming in right there. Uh, so if you're wondering. I didn't even bother to leave any protection from my artillery. But... Yeah, so that's that. Um, we're about to break this unit here on the flank. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I didn't let you guys uh, witness that coming in. But uh, yeah, that's gonna take him out. He's already down to half strength. Kind of shocked he didn't break already, given the abuse we get him. Took a, an additional charge, and that gets him to go there. That one. Uh, Ottoman unit on the flank there was starting to come, but he went and linked back up with his line. Then he starts coming again. So it's like, he's coming, he's going. What the heck is this guy doing? Uh, you know, it's Ottomans for you. They just never know, you know, if they want to, what they want to do here. So I'm getting some shots on him with the artillery, seeing if I can pull him away from the group like the rest and uh, eliminate a, an additional unit here. But I do want to run down these uh, 21 uh, Janissaries there just for the fact that I don't want to have any of these units return to the battlefield because uh, we know that's kind of a pain in the butt to have to continually fight the same army again even if they are depleted because they'll go and wreck our buildings and all that kind of crap. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with these things here. Got the Cossacks getting some shots in. You can see I took quite a bit of damage to that Cossack. So I am bringing down one of my uh, Strelsky to uh, provide a little assist in this. You can see that's going to pretty much put it into him. I guess I'm spoiling it again. All right, here we go. Smash three charges is going to rip him down. This is going to give me my second routing Ottoman unit here, hopefully. Any day. 
Resilient little bugger. Alright, so we're going to leave them to deal with that unit. They should be more than qualified to handle them. We're going to go ahead and start the advance and put the rest of these guys down. There he goes. It's starting to finally break. Maybe. And I'm sending him off to run him down. There he goes. Good riddance. And you can see I sent the, the cab in in advance. That way we can take some of these shots. Uh, again, I'm not really dealing with any musket fire units here, so that's really a good thing. I, I don't have to worry about taking damage on a frontal cav charge. Something that you shouldn't do with cav, like I see a lot of people do, is uh, do direct frontal attacks right into un, um, fully loaded rifles and fully loaded line infantry and get just blasted it's like the ai does and yeah then we we say the ai is is not smart but then we see a lot of human players do the same thing so just fyi don't do that don't be that guy don't be that guy all right here we go you can see i've got now my cav running through behind him with the uh, strelsky so this is going to cause some uh, morale drops for him you see the one on the uh, right was already starting to waver. We're going to hit these guys in the back. And then the cat's hitting this one. This, these camels in the back. Camel backs. Let's keep, keep hitting them with the charges, baby. All right. There they go. They're breaking. Here's this guy. He's coming in to get my artillery like big whoopity. Could have done that at the beginning of the battle, guy. Put your camels. All right. There we go. I lost uh, my artillery there, but that's fine. We'll continue to run these guys. This camel's the only one left, and we'll dispatch him shortly. So this battle is pretty much over with. You can see we're just going to continually run down these units. We, again, we don't want any of these guys coming back on the battlefield. That's the goal. So we'll knock out the camel. That's coming up the hill. Let's no need to show that. And there, we got all the units. They're all gone. Now we just replenish these guys, and we're on the on the roll. Okay, so um, let's see. We're going to just kind of make sure we got everything done. We've already spent all of our money uh, at this point of this turn, so we're about to get ready for the end turn. And I just want to make sure we got everything completed before we hit click that intern. And let's go ahead and hit it. It always bothers me having all these spies in my territory. I mean, not spies, but gentlemen. I don't care if they are gentlemen. I'd almost prefer rogues being in my territory than the gentleman because the gentleman you're just annoying running back and forth doing nothing oh well all right so Persia's coming up with the a force here a force to be reckoned with maybe George is building up their men quite nicely so I'm happy to have both of those guys on as protectorates Got some of our buildings completed. Tech's looking like it's come along pretty well. We're working on the uh, third tier is almost completed. We're working on the fourth tier of uh, philosophy. And we're going to have some nice uh, perks with getting these techs done. You can see we got the first branch of the military uh, land forces done. So things are coming along pretty nicely with my tech. It's uh, 17, 18. I think we're in pretty darn good shape for this time period, uh, point in time. Um, that 25% bonus, I'm definitely wanting off of this uh, Wealth of Nations. So that's going to be one of the next techs I, I start working on right after uh, this one's finished. So that one's one of the best techs you can get. And you have to have Wealth of Nations to be able to continue on with some of these other techs. 
that are pretty vital like this one where it gives you the minus 10 percent on recruitment of land forces and then it also sets you up for some of the other later techs where you uh can get other decreases in your um upkeep for your arm your land forces so pretty pretty vital tech i mean especially we're going to be building up like i said pretty large force here at least initially uh just because we're at war with so many people uh, on so many fronts we've got such a vast territory to to control you know you really do have to have quite large land forces as we do the intern here and uh yeah there's those damn gentlemen again all right poland lithuania trounce around in our territory still uh, you know really threatening to do something to crimea which is giving me some uh grief some stress so i'm uh, having these two protectorates is pretty pretty nice all right so we got part of the persians left kind of unusual Crimea is going up to fight the Polish and losing promptly in my territory by the way okay and Dagestan sends part of their force away just as dumb as Persia and you know goes in their fight here this is a bunch of ragamuffins so I'm going to take a risk and auto resolve it and lose quite a bit of men but miraculously win it so we'll have to fix those troops up and we got a couple uh some more buildings done we got one of the colleges completed some troops built and some traits increased so we're gonna have to get these guys fixed up let's do that looks like dagestan's doing okay here for the uh, time being we're at eight thousand next turn we got seven thousand something to spend this turn we're gonna go ahead and move these forces consolidating over here so we can make a push to the west over here in the Balkans again. And we'll look to do that here in just a little bit. All right, up here in the north. Now that we have Finland secured, we're again, we're going to be getting this port finished up so we can get some fifth rates uh, going. We got these ports here. We're going to go ahead and build those. These are uh, vital to us. Get that port over here in Ingria done. They really do a lot. I mean, it's not so much the, the trade routes, uh, because like I said, most of our trade is being done on land. Uh, but what the big benefit to this, uh, those ports are is in, uh, wealth that is going to increase for us. So you can see here, we're starting to get some, uh, ability to recruit some troops now that we're moving through the tech tree on the military. But, um, more importantly, I want to build up our economy. So we're going to be looking to do that with some of this money that we're going to be spending. We got a little bit more to spend. I just want to make sure we're spending it in the proper place. We're starting to actually make some money out of uh, Comey, believe it or not. But right now, I want to see where we're at on these regions how many turns it is for the next towns is what i'm flipping through so this one we got one more turn we'll have another town uh appearing over here so that's really nice Other than that things are looking good I just want to overthink this <laughs> apparently and build finally a building all right thank you that's looking pretty good we'll be able to hit the own turn and uh see what goes down
All right, election results. So we'll check on these guys in a second. See if we got these guys in the right places and get rid of some. This guy's probably the worst, so we're getting rid of him. He's got some pretty bad negatives to him. Uh, that one's a frugal and thrifty, which I hate because he's minus two to the treasury. Um, I'm using CAD, huh? Okay, so other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. Got some nice buildings completed. Got our dockyard done. Got our town now, so we'll get that built. It's going to provide us some nice wealth. So we've got still over 7,000 we can spend even after getting that building. Let's get these the rest of these guys fixed up. We've got another Ottoman force with another organ gun coming over. 1719 is the year. Get this infrastructure built up. We got to get that done. 10,000. I, I got to save up the money to get that done. Okay, so we're about to fight this battle. And again, I'm probably going to be editing this just so we're not spending too much time on the same type of battles. So let's get into it. All right, so once again, Oregon Guns coming in, getting some shots in. We're just going to have to maintain and absorb some of these shots for the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, get our cab back so they're not taking any shots from that Oregon Guns. We're going to go ahead and move out of range. I'm going to edit this down. The cab's coming up while we're moving away, so we're going to go ahead and charge, see if we can take out that cab. Got my bow cab coming up to assist, and that's going to help shoot them down while they're in melee with my uh, Strelskis. So we'll be able to put him out of the out of the battle here in just a moment as we are returning artillery fire. All right, so that unit is gone. One less cab for them. Let's go ahead and set up. Wait for them. Maybe the uh, organ guns will come off their uh, their guns, and then we can deal with them. But we'll see how that goes. Then we we'll see the artillery fire continually coming down. All right, so we got another camel coming up. It happened to be their general. We got a great shot on him, so routed him. We're still under fire from them organ guns, but really good that we got their general taken out. So we are going to go ahead and advance. You can see here I'm coming up in kind of a U-shaped formation. I'm going to surround them, and we're going to uh, finish up this battle here pretty quick. Because uh, organ guns, we're get, as we get kind of closer to the organ guns, they don't seem to be as effective. Um, they're kind of like a, a long-range canister uh, shot. So we're going to send the cab to go ahead and take them out. I'm not going to need anybody help with this we got them pretty much wrapped up now time to go in for the charge baby as you can see we're sweeping along the flanks pretty nice almost got to the organ gun and you can see they're starting to break. So this one is over. So they're kind of nice when you edit them down shorter like this. All right. And this battle is pretty much over with. We've got a little bit more to break here. Last one. Come on, guy. Break. 
working guns have uh, broken, and that's that. All right, he did have one get away. What the hell? Let's go ahead and fix these guys up. It's only 713. That's good. Actually going to hold off on some of these. I want to save some of that cash. It's in the turn. So, let's see if all this... Uh, building of all these buildings is going to turn on some dividends of giving us some real nice cash flow. Alright, Sweden's taking a little bit of time to change, so sure that means they're moving some troops around all right here we go got a new building in Moldavia but we're actually going to spend all of our money on this this is just too important I mean the extra 15 bonus the taxes is just it's going to mean a lot because this is you got to remember this is a extra taxes on our most wealthiest of regions so that's going to be a big payoff for us big time and right now we're up to 9200 per turn so that's really good let's get these guys fixed up Thank you and yeah we can get them all done all right good so yeah, this is this is looking on the up and up for us. Um, they're fully healed. I still got a pretty damn large army here. Okay, it is what it is. Let's end the turn. We're gonna burn through these turns pretty quick. Sadly, I think the Ottomans are going to start getting Delhi Cav now, so that's not ideal, but it is what it is. All right, here we go. Got some nice buildings finished. New town in Arkestrand. That's good. All right, so we got this new town. Build that. And we got one in Moldavia. Home Lithuania, you stay out of the way. I need to pay attention. If they start moving towards... Um, Crimea, we're going to have to do something about that. They do got some pretty good armies, but they can only recruit um, lower tier units, so not good. All right, Moldavia. <clears throat> see what our situation is here. I do need to get these fifth rates started. One admiral, one regular. These are four thousand. We're going to spend it here. Uh, this is pretty vital for us. All right, other things looking pretty good. Two turns left on this. That's going to give us nice population boost and a little bit of wealth bonus. After, after this is done, I'm going to be switching over to military tech. I might actually 
Now I do need to be patient. After we get that, yeah, it's only going to take us six turns when we start there. That's tempting to just switch over now. But that's a minus two happiness. I might actually do that because we need our... The thing is, is we need this building done first because this is going to give us all the extra repression. Uh, so we're going to do that first. And then after that, when this is completed, we'll move over here. When this is completed, we'll just switch it back over to uh, Rights of Man. Or actually, let's let's just yeah, let's keep it that way. We need the extra time on that, so that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna roll. All right, three hundred nine left to spend, making ninety three next turn, and. Looking at our regions, you can see how our income has just risen tremendously. I mean, even Comey is not our worst anymore. Um, right now, it's this one, but we just built a new building here. So this one will jump over Comey. And uh, yeah, we just got a new building that we just uh, built in uh, Don Viasco, so that should start rising. Same with Moldavia. Um, so we should see all these bottom tier ones really start making a jump upward. So that's good to see. Let's end the turn. You know what? I just realized we didn't check on Maratha. So I got to force myself to look at Maratha after this turn. All right, that's a problem. Hopefully Crimea starts throwing some uh, men after them now. It is already a damaged unit, so... I mean, damaged army. Another fucking Persian army. Ugh. <sighs> It's trash. God damn it. We're going to have to go back to that. See, this is why you'd never do that. There's no way that trashy little army wins that battle. There's no way. I should have saved it. Then we wouldn't have to go through this intern. But anyways, this is going to give me a chance to look at... Uh, Maratha before we do the intern. Otherwise, I'll forget again. Alright, let's go take a look here. Alright, so Maratha has taken Afghanistan and Bucharest. Or, not Bucharest, but, uh, you know what, I, I'm, I can't even pronounce it. So, anyways. So, they're going to be coming for per, uh, Persia uh, pretty stat. And then they're going to be coming for Azerbaijan. So we're in the point now where if they're struggling versus this little Persian army, we're going to have to start transitioning this army over to line infantry so we can deal with these oncoming threat of Maratha. And you know that's another reason why fiber rank is going to be pretty important for us. But once I get that army of fire by rank over here, I can move this army over to start coming in behind um, the Ottomans. And I'm sure they're going to ally with uh, Maratha. So. And then we'll move this army in on this front. And uh, we still got Austria we got to deal with as well. So a little bit of problems there, but nothing we can't deal with. Um, soon we'll have the fleet moving over here and we'll be able to transfer this army, take out uh, Stockholm, and that's going to be a very rich region for us to take. Alright, so let's end the intern and do that battle.
All right, well, it's fine. I mean, it's Desert Warriors, guys. I mean, sure, they got one of these, which is extremely good. 19 melee defense. I mean, that's gargantuous. I mean, what, that one unit just defeated them? Come on. And took out my whole army, too? From that auto-resolve? I mean, it's just absurd. All right, let's do it. Speed it up so we can get our men in. I mean, Dagestan's got full line infantry almost. How do you screw this up? I'll tell you one thing, I don't want to lose any of these guys. myself get in behind them just bow them down they're moving their artillery we'll come behind with our with our uh, let's get those camels Break that artillery. Need to hit these Flagehan or whatever so that. Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be shooting them, idiot. What the hell he's doing? Want these guys run down. And our bow cab is taking care of that fool. Oh no, they're getting run down. You're making me go back and redo this? Oh yeah. Just for that reason alone.
I didn't even need my infantry. Come on, get after him. Speed this up. Oh shit, that fucker got away. Alright, that's good. Okay. How does it auto resolve where we lose 1700 and they lose like 200? It was ridiculous. Yeah, it's a vastly different result. Roads are done. Let's get this built. Public orders holding. Okay. So we got 5,000 to spend. 92 next turn. We do need to repair, repair not repair. We need to repair these idiots. Still 5,000. Let's go ahead and we're actually going to build our artillery from here rather than putting them here and transfer them like all the way from Halamazuda. Um, all right. I need to get on the path of recruiting up some infantry. Whoops. Not fucking conscripts all right and let's recruit some let's hold off on that spend some more money on economy eighteen hundred Spend it here. All right, let's end the turn. Should have our ships ready to roll after this turn. Come on, you said you didn't attack him last in turn. And let him heal up his army? Oh my god. Come on, Crimea. Get your heads out of your ass. They had a weakened army. Huh. <laughs> Just crazy. Alright, another Ottoman army is coming up. Over to Moldavia. All right, we got tech completed. We'll check on that in a second. Two towns. Got 9,500 to spend. Down to 81. What changed? The recruitment of the men. That's right. All right, so. That's fine. It's got to be done. All right, let's take this fleet and instigate a fight. This certainly should. I think it might be time to go ahead and push on from Moldavia start taking back Bulgaria uh, 9,000 to spend let's go ahead and get this done I want to get some of these capitals finished where I did this one got these finished all 
Uh, spend on that one and this one. Fifteen hundred. Let's get that done. All right, let's take a look at our tech. We don't need to work on that. Let's get working on this. Or actually, it's pretty important. Six more turns here. I do want to get this done so we can get moving to get uh, Light Dragoons because that's going to be pretty damn important for us. But right now we're going to wait it out. Um, 86 left to spend. This force is pretty trash. They're pretty soft. All right, let's do it. Can't win any awards by sitting still. All right, so they got one camel gunner. All right, let's do it. 